What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard here on Supercard Ever Leesman's channel. Ever Leesman, of course, has me, me, and me. Alright, guys, what is going on? I hope the mic is much louder. I did set it up to be a little more louder for you guys. So I know I've seen some of you saying the mic's low, mic's low. That should fix it 100%. So, yeah. Uh, as you all know, I did announce on Twitter that I will be doing, I was doing this LMS for free, 100% free. Not even like bothering spending any money on LMS. Currently ranked 235 in the world. Now LMS has changed dramatically. Uh, it used to be like Arena 47, 73 were the tough ones. Now they've raised it and made it easier to progress through LMS. The problem is though for free players, it's actually a little harder as well. Because now you need to grind way more than you anticipated. Usually at 47 you would grind. Then you get stuck in between you know, the 48 to 6 to 73 range, which is where you would end up. Now we're currently in arena 64, and now I'm going to get bumped in the 70s real, real quick. But right now I'm currently on 64. Now arena 64 is the brand new stage of 47 pretty much. Where you need to pretty much guess that one obstacle on the board. I like my strategy, so we'll go ahead and do my strategy. Now I always reveal and block in the big. Well, I always reveal in the beginning because I like to spread out to see the patterns, and I like to pre-pick what I want to go for. I never go for the four sides. That's the one thing because those are ones with the most obstacles at times. That's just my opinion. So what I usually do is, depending on how many I need to leave on the board, I go with two, set my two, don't touch them for the rest of the game until I need to. So we got nine, which means we're going to leave one obstacle on the board. So I'm going to have to pick two, in my opinion. So I'm going to go up here and up here as my picks for obstacles. We're, we're Gucci so far. So we'll pick the bottom corner here. Now if we can reveal some sh on, the like on the corners that they're all gone, makes it easier for me as well now there's times where I'm gonna have to close out the game because cards just beat you and it's just a straight fact so so there was none on those two corners which is good I like that all right there's those two left arrows you can see these cards got these cards got powerful really really quick compared to other LMS's so I think that's one thing they changed they changed the, the, the the, how good the card is but they made it easier for you to progress and to be fair I, you guys know how to close out very quick on these cards so end of the day it's not it's not a total loss so let's see if we can get through this arena in one shot it's hard to get like in my opinion this is the hardest arena to do this is the hardest one you have the less the least amount of obstacles and the least amount of opportunities so this is in my opinion the hardest one uh, second hardest one would probably be uh well here you go we gotta close this out because they're compatible i would say the second hardest one was 73 which is now 78 or something like that it's it changed so yeah all right Hopefully he doesn't have like a compatible tag or at least uh, just yeah we just can't have a compatible. All right, so he's not compatible. So we move on. All right. So we we still have a lot of things on the board. Like like this is the one where your points are going to be suffrage. You don't worry about the points. You worry about moving on. The fact that there was two obstacles there bums me out. All right, I'll go with Ric Flair here. I don't know why I have my momentum on those cards, but it's just a habit. If I don't find another one right now, I think I'm gonna go with. I think I'm gonna put the block on now so I can get a streak going and hopefully not touch any more obstacles on the way out. So we can get maybe a thousand points if we're lucky. So even though, uh, at a, lot, a thousand points, that's still good for for a free player. A thousand points. It's pretty good at this level. And most, we pray, most people are going to not bother spending anything on this level. Besides for reveals and blocks. So. 
That's a fact. I'm going to go with Rollins here to see what we have. Nope, we're going to lose that one, so we got to back out. Oh, man, it's crazy. Like, the amount of times you have to back out and in at times. Even when you, when you have top cars, like, look, Dash Wilder. Dash Wilder. And I'm over here closing out because he's going to lose. Seth Rollins is going to lose to that card. You figured that car would get smoked by Seth Rollins, but nope. Sometimes you just gotta close it out. All right, so I know I'm actually gonna go with Triple H here. Mm. All right, he doesn't beat me. I was looking at the stats double just to be sure, but I see he was a he was a couple thousand off. All right, I just knew they were gonna call it tag team here. All I need is just a non-compatible tag. That's that's good. That's fine. We'll still win it. Man, that LMS is just crazy now. I think I can go a c one more before I need to bank. All right, we'll win this one. Hands down. So much fun, man. This is so much fun. All right, that's done with. 1,344 is a good score for me. Question is, I want to. Will I hit back to back? That is the question. There's, there's a chance I could hit back to back. So I'm not going to risk it. I'm actually going to bank those points. It's a good amount of points. I would have gotten close to 2,000 there, but I just can't risk it. You just, sometimes you just can't risk it. Especially if you're free playing the event. And to be fair, I've been slacking. This event, I've been slacking hardcore. Pulling card, pulling these things, blocks. And reveals have not been easy. They've been a struggle. And uh, I must say, uh, I've been sleeping a lot too. So, yeah, it's, it's crazy. I've slept maybe 14 hours of this event already. So, pretty impressive. All right, so now it's crunch time where you're going to be in that stage of you don't want to hit that obstacle. <laughs> All right, this card has to be weak. Yeah, I figured that would be weak. All right, so now it's crunch time where hopefully the luck stays on your side. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and bank this because it is crucial at this stage. Mm, I kind of don't want to hit that middle one, to be fair. Tag team, we'll go with the rock and this card. Everyone, this is the part where everyone needs to strategize. It's like, oh, where could it be? Telling you, man, the Serena can really destroy you at times. It really does destroy you. Now, I feel like one of my two is gonna be it. I feel like this middle, like I feel like I want to get rid of this middle one. I just knew for some reason that was gonna be an obstacle. It comes down to the two that I picked originally. So one of them is good, one of them is bad. Question is, 50-50 shot is what you want. And I got it. Question is, do I select the right one? Now, in my opinion, I feel like left side is the obstacle. Because there's just way too much obstacles on my right, my right side right now. 50-50 shot. I lose, I lose. And that's the dreaded level completed. I just got to make sure I win this match. I'll win this match. Oh my god. These levels are intense, man. But once you get past them and, and know like, yes, it's over with. It's fantastic. I love it. First try. I f deep down, this is the hardest level in my book. Because every other level has so many more obstacles where you can play around with it. This one, you only got nine. So, yeah. That's good. 6,200 points more to the total so we pass that level i don't have to worry about that level i think the next one's around 70 something 70 78 i think i was told and now you jump up to 10 and now you get two reveals and two blocks so that's pretty much six eight all you need to do is now reveal two cards and then you could just cruise all the way to the end
But this is actually, the, I, like, I like these end stages for free players, because once you get this, yes, you need two and two now. But you can save up blocks and stuff if once you find two obstacles, you're like, okay, now I can find, hopefully find two more obstacles or one more obstacle after to save a block. Because you, you really can't save reveals, though. But blocks you can save. So that's why I'm hoping to pull more reveals now. I got a lot of blocks. I need to pull reveals now. Which wasn't hard yesterday, but today seems to be the opposite of what I couldn't pull, I couldn't pull blocks yesterday, but now I can pull blocks. I pulled reveals yesterday, but now I can't pull reveals. It goes back and forth. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this uh, episode. Sorry I didn't get an episode out yesterday, but I I, I probably upload tomorrow morning for you guys just to make it up for it because I did say post Thursday, but <laughs> just didn't do it. But that is the dreaded brand new level 47, aka 64. I hope you all enjoyed this little video. For you guys, uh, you know, it's, you just gotta, my strategy does work. It could frustrate you at times, but you're eventually going to pass the level. And that's why I love my strategy so freaking much. And look, first try, boom. Go for those corners, pick those two cards, and pray. That's all you gotta do. Alright guys, that is Edward. I am done. Hope you guys all enjoyed this. If you guys did enjoy getting past Arena 64, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you guys enjoy what you see, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We do have all the content coming for you guys, which is, of course, SummerSlam 18 tier will be coming out probably next week on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that. We'll have our freebie and stuff like that. I'll gl gladly post that after I get back from work. And, uh, yeah. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you once again, fam. And uh, I'm glad I'm doing this for free because, you know, a lot of people out there are saying, hey, you can't really get a good card for free. Like, you can get this card, but you can't get a good card for free. And you know what? I'm going to be out here proving a lot of people wrong. That you can get a decent card for free. And if anyone tells you otherwise, tell them Edward said you're a fucking liar. And a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time, guys. Take care.